Welcome to Pocket Ronnie. We're going to be doing coin problems, word problems with coins. If you look at 16B, 1 through 3, we have 20 coins and we are told that uh, those coins are made up of nickels and dimes. And the total value of the coins is $1.75. So here, and then it asks, we want to know how many nickels and how many dimes do we have. So since we have two unknowns, then how many equations do we have to have to solve two unknowns? We have to have two. So if there are two unknowns, you have to have two equations. Our two equations is the first equation is going to be how many? We're going to label that as how many? We have 20 coins and we said that they were made up of nickels and dimes. So we can say that the number of nickels plus the number of dimes is equal to 20 coins. So that can be our first equation. That's how many? How many coins do we have? The number of nickels plus the number of dimes equals 20. Our second equation we can call the value. Well, what is the value of a nickel? The value of a nickel is 5 cents. So for every nickel we have, we have to multiply it by 5 cents. Remember, 5 cents is written as 0 .05. That's five cents in money. So we can say five cents times every nickel we have, and then the value of a dime is 10 cents. 10 cents times, times every dime we have equals the total value of the amount of money we have. And the problem tells us that we have $1.75. So now we have our two equations and our two unknowns. So the first thing I would recommend is get rid of the decimals in this problem. Okay, the way that we get rid of the decimals, everything has two decimal places, so we can multiply each number by 100. If we multiply each number by 100, then we can move our decimal place over. Each one will move over two times when you multiply by 100, and this new equation will become 5n plus 10d equals 175. Okay, that, that was this equation. Became this without decimals. Okay, now we have our first equation. We're going to solve this. We're going to solve these two equations by elimination. So when we use elimination, both equations are in standard form. This one's in standard form. And then our first one of n plus d is already in standard form as well. And when we do elimination, we want to stack our equations on top of each other and then we're adding them together. Well, right now, neither variable will eliminate. But if I multiply, and you can either choose to eliminate nickels or dimes, it doesn't matter, the problem will come out the same. I'm gonna choose to eliminate my nickels. So in order for my nickels to go away, I need to have a negative five right here. So because a positive five and a negative five will make that go away, so I'm gonna multiply that by a negative five. If I multiply this by a negative 5, I have to multiply everything by a negative 5. So that gets multiplied by a negative 5, and that gets multiplied by a negative 5. So now my new equations are, I'm going to write small over here, 5n. My top equation did not change. My second equation became negative 5n minus 5d equals a negative 100. Negative 5 times 20 became negative 100. Now I am adding my equations and my n's will eliminate. Positive 10d and a negative 5d is a positive 5d. 175 minus 100 is 75. Uh, yeah, making sure I did my math right. Um, divide both sides by 5. That cancels. d equals... If I have 75 cents, 3. Nope. 1, 15. Okay, the one thing that I do want to point out when you're solving these, if I say the number of dimes is 15, you should not get a negative number. We will not have a negative number of dimes. These coin problems should come out with positive numbers. So, now that I know I have 15 dimes, so in solving for your unknown, now I can take, I've got one unknown, my dimes. Now I can take this and substitute it back into one of my equations. 
I personally think it's easier to substitute it back right there to solve for the number of nickels. So I have the number of nickels plus the number of dimes. Most of you guys should be able to do this mathematically in your head. If I have the total of 20 coins and I have the 15 dimes, then how many nickels should I have? Five, but algebraically, subtract that over, and then yes, the number of nickels is five. Remember, the number of nickels plus the number of dimes should equal the total coins you have is 20. You can also check it by the value. If I have five nickels, okay, five nickels, that's five cents for every nickel, that's 25 cents. And if I have 15 dimes, 15 times 10 cents is $1.50. The value of that does come out to $1.75, which the problem told us that was the total amount of money that we had. So that is the way you could check these problems. All right, let's look at 16E, four through six. We are told we have eight coins and those eight coins consists of pennies and nickels. So we have two unknowns because we want to find out how many pennies do we have and how many nickels do we have. Since we have two unknowns, we know we have to have two equations. The problem also told us that the total value of the coins is 20 cents. So if we have two unknowns, we have to have two equations. My first equation is going to be how many? How many coins do I have? I don't know how many pennies I have, so I'm just going to put P. I don't know how many nickels I have, so I'm just going to put N. But I do know that when you add the number of coins together, you're going to have a total of eight coins. So the number of pennies plus the number of nickels equals eight coins. My second equation is going to be the value. What is the value of a penny? One cent. So be sure and write point oh one. That's how you write one cent. For every penny we have, we have one cent times however many pennies we have. And then the value of the nickel, five cents times the number of every nickel we have. And then the problem told us that the total amount of money we have is 20 cents. The first thing I always recommend is getting rid of these decimals. Every one is two decimals, so if you multiply each one by 100, the number of decimals, that's the number of zeros you need to have to multiply by, and, that's, and then it will move your decimal place over two times. Multiplying by 100 will move my decimal place over two times for every one of these. So my new equation will be 1P, and you don't have to write your 1 in front of it if you don't want to. 1P plus 5N equals 20. That was that equation. My first equation of how many does not change. I'm going to solve by elimination. So I'm going to stack them on top of each other. And I want one of the variables to eliminate. I'm going to eliminate the P's. You can eliminate the N's if you want. If I eliminate the N's, I need to multiply everything by negative 5. So I have a positive 5 and a negative 5. I'm going to eliminate my pennies. So I have a positive 1 here, which means I need a negative 1 here means I need to multiply everything by a negative 1. I'm going to rewrite my equations down here. My top equation does not change. I, uh, plus 5n equals 20. And then my second equation was negative 1p minus 1n equals a negative 8. That was after multiplying everything by negative 1. Now I'm adding my two equations together. I've got a positive 1p there and a negative 1p there, so those cancel. I've got a positive 5n and a negative 1n, which gives me a positive 4n. 20 minus 8, 12. Divide by 4, divide by 4, n equals 3. Not only should you get positive numbers, you should get a whole number. We are not going to have part of a nickel. We will not have three and a half nickels or three and one third. You should not come up with fraction answers for these. I can only have whole numbers for the number of nickels. So now I've got three nickels. So to figure out how many pennies I have, I will take my number of nickels. You should be able to do this by common sense. If I have three, if I have a total of eight coins and I have three nickels, well, obviously we know we have five pennies. 
but to show it algebraically on your paper, you can say p plus 3 equals 8. If I subtract 3 to both sides, then I have p equals 5. So I have 5 pennies. I should have a total of 8 coins. I do. If I want to check the value, 3 nickels, 5 cents for every nickel, that's 15 cents, plus 5 pennies, which is 5 cents, does give me 20 cents, which is what the problem told me, so this does check.